So let's talk a little bit about the projection methods that you have available to you here in Cinema 4D. Now, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a cube. I'm going to create a cylinder. I want to create a sphere. And I'll create a plane. And just pull that over. I create a material here. Double click the material. And in the texture path, I'm going to click the three dots here. And I'm going to double click on my 1618.psd to load that in. Now, if you want to go into the texture or the bitmap, you can click in there and you've got some parameters that you can change here. To go back up a level, click that button. You've also got mix mode here, so you could change that from normal to add, subtract, or multiply, sort of like you can in Photoshop. And then I'm going to click off that. So we have this texture loaded, and I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag and drop that onto the cube. And you'll see that it has applied itself with the projection method UVW. And it has put the bitmap on every side of the cube. Okay, so it's done that because the cube and all parametric objects have UVW coordinates built into them by default. So you can see if I come over here and change the UVW coordinates to something like spherical, then I'm getting something like that. Cubic, cubic works. Cylindrical, flat. So you can see it's sort of pushing it from the front here to the back. Let's change that back to UVW. Let's take this and we'll put this on the cylinder. And we can change that to cylindrical. Okay. Put one on the sphere. Now the spherical is going to look identical to the UVW. And let's create another material. Something with a little contrast here. Make it red. We'll drop this on the plane with UVW coordinates. And then we'll take the texture and we'll drop that on the plane. And we'll change the coordinates from projection to flat. So if we come over here and we click our texture tag here, you can see that we have a little grid that's popped up. Now we can take the grid, we can come over here and click on our axis tool, and we can move that around on our object. It's just moving the texture around. I can come over here to tile and uncheck that. Then you can see we have just the one copy of the texture. And we can take that, we can make it bigger, smaller. We can move it around on our object. So this is the flat projection method. So if you were going to create a decal and put it on one of your models, this is exactly the way you would do that. Okay. And basically, again, what's happening is it's pushing from the front straight through the object. If we come around here, you can see that it's on the back side as well. Right. So we can come over here and we have a few other options. We can do an offset in U or offset in V. We can change the length in U and V. And U and V are the same as X and Y. The creators, programmers, if you will, needed to use three more letters instead of X, Y, Z, so they used U, V, W. So the U, V, W are the equivalent of X, Y, and Z. We can create the amount of tiles in X and Y, or U and V. Okay, so that is the basics of projection methods here in Cinema 4D.